Hey everybody. So I just posted something about the um, purchase we just made with um, the cow. We bought um, half a cow. I'm going to split it with my mom. We probably could have bought, you know, a whole cow. It would probably would have lasted us a year for a family of five. We eat a lot of meat. My, my husband's carnivore diet right now. Well, we just eat a lot of meat in general, but um, I just wanted to tell you the severity of, of why I think some of you need to go ahead and pray, depending on the areas that you're in, about what it is best for your family to do. Um, the, first of all, the meat in our markets are so toxic and contaminated. They just are. And the hospitals are getting bigger and it is all by design. And so it's, it's very hard. The difference from the meat that we bought from the farmer, we buy from the, far, the, the farmers, right? Instead of the grocery store, but the farmers, they look totally different in color. They, they're different all around just the, the texture and how they look. Okay, first of all, there's a significant difference. Okay, for two, we're going into a time of a famine where there's not gonna be much in the grocery stores for you guys to be able to get. All right, even if that's all that you guys had, there's no farmers around you, maybe you're in the city or something, um, there's just not gonna be food there and what is there is going to be so expensive because of supply and demand. I saw it in a dream. I went ahead and posted the article from Fox today, like it's starting to show up on the news channels of what I saw and what a lot of us have seen in dreams. The Lord has been dealing with us about our supply chains and our foods and it's it's slowly here so here's another thing if you're gonna go with the route of the cows like you're just oh I'll just go buy a cow it's no big deal I'll do it when I get ready well it's not like you can just go to the farm and just be like I need a half a cow today that's not how it works um, right now the farmer told us that he's he's on back order and he doesn't have enough cows for everybody who wants a cow and not only that some cows are not ready for slaughter so it, it takes a process that they're not ready they, they have to be reach a certain weight, a certain um, maturity for the meat to be good, for it not to be tough, all the things. So if you're gonna get a cow, if you're gonna do get your meat this way from farmers, farmers have to know ahead of time. You have to put it in a deposit most of the time and then there's about a two month waiting period. So don't make this decision when you see your grocery store empty or you're, you're like, oh my gosh, there's no food here. I'm just gonna go find a farmer and buy a cow. It doesn't work that way. It, it really is a process. You have to put your deposit in. So we put our deposit in for the, the cow today and it's probably gonna be ready within two months. He, there's a few people in front of us that their cows are going to the slaughter and we there's some cows that this particular farmer is getting that's incoming, but they're not gonna be ready. Um, they need to beef up and eat and everything. So take this seriously and just be wise about what you're doing. This is a whole way of different way of living. Instead of going to the grocery stores like we have in this generation, we're you know going to the farmers, the ones who know how to do this, they know how to process. This is a different way of, of, of living and, and you have to plan it out and you have to be patient and um, understand the times and seasons that we're in. This is very serious. So if you don't have enough money to buy things like this is the whole reason why I started so early trying to get people to understand that you need money, you need capital to be able to, as tools to be able to buy these things for your family, um, for what's coming. Not so you could be wealthy and on your yacht and live your best life. No, the Lord was bringing in a wealth transfer with different strategies so that you could do these things. So you could go to the farmers and buy the cows either a full or a half. You could go to the farmers and buy the chickens. You could go, okay? Or you could leave if you're in a big city and you don't have farmer opportunities. You could, you had the money to get out of the city and get an apartment somewhere more rural. This is the whole reason why we've been teaching how to build a Goshen, how to build a system, and we're here. So the water is slowly getting warm. Be wise, start planning. The headlines are already coming out saying the supply shock is just around the corner listen to it and ask the Lord what you should do because the Bible says that a man that sees trouble coming and doesn't prepare is foolish that's a foolish person the Lord will provide for you but just like the widow that had the oil and the bread she had something to start off with not nothing she used she sacrificed what she had left 
which was nothing hardly, but it was enough for the Lord to use. So if you have nothing, invest in something that will produce. For instance, I've heard so many people say, well, I can't afford to learn. I can't afford classes. I can't afford this. I can't afford that. You can't afford not to learn it. You cannot afford not to sacrifice. You can't not afford it right now because you are going to be in a situation of lack and that situation of lack causes death, it causes pestilence, it causes so many issues that are unnecessary because you could have planned ahead of time. All right, love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Just wanted to give you a heads up.